Right, I've glassed all that out now. I've put two layers on the sides, for about four, five on the back, and two on that side. And I've also put two layers now in the footwell, uh, the bottom of the hole. So basically, it's tied it all in on the floor, the transom, it tied it in around the corner. I've tabbed it, There's probably about four bits around there. And that's not finished now, obviously. There's going to be some strength in these. Oh, sorry, look at the phone. There's going to be some strength in these. Where are we here? These uh, sides of the engine splash well. Because it's one, it's attached to the transom and it's stuck in and it's glassed over there and it's also glassed in around the corner. So that's part of the integral strength of the transom. It's obviously all encased in fiberglass on the outside of the boat, but it's also, it's attached and tabbed to the floor there, around the side, and then around the back. I'm gonna tab all that in on the side there and around the back, and it's gonna be glassed in to waterproof as well, but that's gonna be securely. I'll probably use some woven roving around there because you won't see it, and it's real heavy duty. So that'll give it a lot more strength as well. So that's going to be all tied in, tied to the floor and tied to the I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this back section there. I was going to put wood across here and have it as a seat and like as a battery compartment or even contemplating on fog glass and all in and having like a live well in as well. But it, uh, it's not a massive boat, but it's a really nice place to fish from. So you can stand up there, it's quite high, you can lean on the railings. And I think if I put a seat in there, it's gonna ruin a nice fishing space. So I think for the minute, I can always get a little chair or a little poof or something to sit on, if kids wanna sit on it or whatever, or a little camping chair, then it's nice to sit in. Even. When you're traveling it's a nice height you could actually sit your backside on that top rail lean on the back bit and it's not a bad place to be even if you're traveling out somewhere but this section here obviously this is going to be boxed in now and it's going to have a chamfer on the bottom here to go into the splash well so i'm going to put like a an idea maybe get some square downpipe plastic downpipe and cut section out and angle it all around and it'll give me I think it's about 65 mil so it'll give me a top section of there to go all the way around it nice round edges and I can glass all in then and it'll just finish off nice then make a cushion like out of board that'll drop in there and thick foam with vine on the top and as long as I put it on the hinge across here so when the engine lifts up I can just lift it up in the air and then the engine will go underneath it because obviously it will uh, snag on the engine when it comes up if I fix it down but when the engine's down in the water that'll make a lovely seat and then when you're fishing you could one person could sit on the air with his backside on there knees dangling over the edge fishing rods in there another person then could sit with his backside facing the other, back to the other person legs dangling down there and stand up or well, they could stand up anyway and just lean on it, but it'd just be a nice place to sit and it'd give a bit more space because, as I say, you haven't got much space from the drying position, the helm to here to uh, move around in that. So, put like a silver chair there, it'd be a nice place to drive from, swivel around, fish from the side, and another person can stand there and there and fish, and another person can stand there and fish. So, three to four, it should fish quite comfortably. So that's where we are today. As I say, it's all glassed out now. This part of the well is done at the back. The transom's done underneath now, and <clears throat> the two sides now. But when we put the base of the splash bowl in, got drill through the transom. Put a what do they call it? It's a funny name for it. A gar garboiled or something. Uh, it's just basically a vent through the hull to drain the splash well. So I'm going to draw that through and then glass that in and then say I'm going to put more layers on there as well and glass the uh, 
splash roll back into the back of the boat as well so that'll give it a bit more strength and it'll tie it all in and i can get it a bit neater then as well so bye for now anyway